This is for, for, for school leaders, people who are working. This is not another book written for other scholars. Many scholars have read it, and, and I'm great that it's found some resonance with other scholars, but it was written specifically for people who are out in schools trying to make them more humanizing spaces and making the learning more culturally responsive. Um, it was written for them. What makes Dr. Khalifa's book pretty special is that it really does begin with the research. So we learn about colonization um, of minority cultures all around the world. We learn about um, how to understand our own racial bias. Equity work, racial equity work, cannot begin without first examining your own racial identity and your own biases. So Dr. Khalifa's book really helped to reaffirm um, for myself that we are doing um, some of the right work here at Tartan. Some things that stand out I think are critical self-reflection um, and being able to also do something with that. When you read through the chapters there are activities that teacher leaders should do, there are activities that principals should do, and there are activities that district level leaders including superintendents should do. This is an action-oriented, practitioner-oriented book. One of the things I've appreciated most in reading the book is uh, actually uh, listening to the vignettes about other practitioners. So he'll talk, you know, about Joe, the principal. What is Joe doing? What does that look like? What are the conditions of the school? How did he interact with his teachers, with his students, with that community? It has been eye-opening. It has allowed us to uh, take a look at our own practices and evaluate what we're doing. I know in our equity groups, each of us have taken information from Dr. Khalifa's book in started planning, what can we do next year? Um, so like a lot of us are looking into doing culture responsive teaching. So being a culture responsive leader, I'm able to make culture responsive staff in my building. So those are some ways that uh, we've been able to use the book in, um, at a higher level as principal group and then also with our staff and which will trickle down to our students and families. So what we don't want is people to come into schools, talk about race, and become, you know, emotionally charged and then go back to, to business as usual. This book is intended for leaders, but not only leaders, but leaders who want to shift practices and who have the courage to stand up and to shift practices toward humanizing communities and students in school.